What is going on? James Mack Audio, Vernon, Connecticut. Today we are unboxing the Cicada Amp. I'm putting it on my bike, so I figured I'd do a little unboxing of it. It's not new or anything fancy, but I'll tell you what, I deal with a lot of amp, amp companies. Cicada, I know sounds good. I ordered this amp kind of on a whim. I didn't look at the specs. Um, we had already placed our final order for the day on Thursday, and I knew if I needed something for my bike, so I said, see what happens. So I ordered the amp, get it in here thinking it's gonna be huge, not gonna fit. Let me tell you, I was pretty surprised. So this amp comes in two versions, right? It's the FLX 1400.4. There's also a 1400.4 FLX 1400.4P. That one has a built-in DSP. I already have an ARC DSP on my bike, so I'm gonna leave it like that. I probably should have got the P and switched it up because space, but honestly, I'm using the new uh, Zen Nav TV piece and I have the original one right now. There's a DSP one coming. I wanna test that out too on my bike. Cause I like to test everything on my bike before we install it. So I figured let it go and just get the regular amp. So first things first, this is a 350 by four at two ohms, right? A lot of us aren't running necessarily, well, so a lot of the new speakers are two ohms. So if you're running two ohms, you're gonna get full power 350 by four. Um, if you're running four ohm, you're gonna get 225 by four. So a lot of the new speakers coming out you, for bikes, you can get in two ohm. Worst case, I'll do, you know, I'll do two ohms in the fairing, you know, a speaker that's very powerful, like MP652, it can handle that power. Or I'll do like a MP654 and a SX165neo in the lowers and wire them down. So four ohm, four ohm, wire them down the two ohms to double the power out of the amp. We just did a, a bike for a customer. He wasn't sure if he wanted lowers. So we did the uppers and we left the room so he can do the lowers in the future, get more power and displacement out of it. So opening this up, first thing we see is the Cicada packaging, which I always love. Congrats. You're gonna fucking love it. Larry Frederick was a interesting guy. He very, I don't know what the word I'm looking for, but he was a good guy, you know, and, and that's, that's his personality right there. Uh, this is a two year warranty amp when installed by a dealer. It comes with some ferrules, which is nice. Um, these help your install look good. They do not secure the wire very well. It can slip out pretty easily, but if you have it installed right with the screw from the amp going through, you're solid. It's more about cosmetics. We got some brackets here. I've actually never opened this, double-sided tape. I'm not sure, we'll see what this bracket is for later. We're installing this today. Uh, Allen keys and some extra screws. Oh, these those for the brackets. And then your inputs, RCA clips, and the amplifier itself. Now this amp, remember, this is a 1400 watt amp, very powerful. This, is not a very big amp. I don't have big hands. Here's a six and a half inch speaker. I mean, it's not a very big amp in comparison. So I'm hopeful this is gonna fit on my bike and it's gonna be the power I need. It's got a little fan to help displace heat. Your inputs and all your settings are over here. The gains, adjustments, filters, whatever you're looking for. And then your output over here. So power ground, this is big enough to fit four gauge, which I would suggest um, this, you know, eight gauge generally on a car, you're looking up to 500 watts, 600 watts max. On a bike, it is a shorter run, so you can, can get more power, but if you're gonna run this at full, and your speaker outputs. So, badass little amp, and I see what these brackets here are for. They are for a different mounting option, which is kind of cool. So you can see these are like a V, right? It's 90 degree almost. And they would secure here. It's actually the same thing. So it makes zero difference. So maybe they're just extra parts. All right, it does say in the owner's manual, multi FLX able, flex able mounting brackets, mounting options with included optional mounting bracket. So I'm not sure exactly how they work. Uh, we're gonna go install the amp and hopefully it fits on my bike. We'll play with it. So I'm not really sure what these do to give it better mounting options. We'll find out, we'll report back. 